What's up, this is Keegan Lanier with Keegan Lanier Media and today we're gonna to show you how to implement Flexbox into the footer of your Divi website to give you a much cleaner look. So let's get right to it. We are in the back end of WordPress. We're looking at the dashboard right now and I wanna show you exactly how we're gonna get there. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that under appearances and menus, you actually have a menu assigned to your footer. So we built this test footer here. We've got six pages and it's assigned here to the footer menu. That's key or else you won't have anything to, uh, the, the code won't have anything to adjust. So we're gonna jump into the front end and show you what it looks like by default in Divi. When you scroll down, the menu is gonna be on the left and as you shrink down into smaller devices, you're gonna see that it doesn't center very well. They just kind of jumble the rows together and they just kind of do whatever they want to do. There's no real rhyme or reason to it. So what we're going to do is stack these on top of one another in a column and it just looks cleaner. It's easier to read and it's better for the end user. So let's jump into the back end again. And, and once again, we're providing the code that's going to get you the end result. So there's one place that you got to that you got to drop it. You go under Divi here, go to theme options, and then there's a custom CSS part down here at the bottom. So we've got a little bit of CSS that's already in place, but this is for some different layouts. Uh, again, we provided the code, but this is what you want to plug in. Now we'll explain kind of what's going on here. So this is a media query, and what it does is it circles around uh, a CSS statement and that may be over your head and that's that's fine you can just copy this in and uh, you'll know that this code interacts with the bottom nav class so that little piece of design at the bottom where you have that, that menu on the front end says that anything smaller than 980 this is the code that's gonna happen it's gonna center it, it's gonna put it all in a column and it's gonna flex it down um, this part here is the same exact class it's just saying that on a screen that's bigger than 980. So anything 981 and up, it's going to just center the content. So we're going to push it all to the middle. So we saw what it looked like before. Now we're going to save it to where we add this code and we'll jump back into the front end. And you'll be able to see exactly what this menu looks like now. So by default, since we centered things on the desktop, we've got it centered and it shrinks in a little bit as we go down. And then we'll, there's a point where we'll cross the threshold and this will jump to mobile, which we just did. And you can see the top, the menu changes. When you go back down, everything is now stacked perfectly in the center and it just looks really good. I'm a huge fan of this. I think it looks much, much better than having things that aren't aligned or not centered. And this goes all the way down. So as you shrink down into the phone, it's gonna stay that exact look. So you can put a section right above it that says menu or has you know whatever header you want for that sub menu or for the footer menu rather. And it's just another way to style things and make them look great. And this can be used on any class if you're familiar with CSS. You can take that code and that way anything that's mobile is gonna shrink and it's gonna stack on top of one another. And it just looks, it just looks better, I think. So we hope that this has been beneficial. We hope that you really get some use out of this. The code will be provided um, in the description below and feel free to leave comments. We'd love to hear your feedback. We'd love to see how you can take this and maybe apply it to different classes or use it in a different way altogether. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for liking the video. Hope you subscribe to the channel and yeah, we'll see you in the next video.